everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be the story time video I talked about in my Italy vlog. And before I get started with all of the trouble things, I want to shout out my friends from Black Monkey Track. And they're not making music by the way, they just take music that has no copyright sign and put them on their channel to uh, make it easier for us YouTubers to find music that we can use in our videos without getting blamed about anything. So if you're a YouTuber and you, you're looking forward to like cool music that you can play in your videos then just visit their channel and give them a shout out or put them in your description box and you can use all of the music for free. Okay, without further rem rambling around, let's get started with this story. So first of all, to set you all on the first start point, I was in Italy, so we drove to Italy uh, in the last week of school uh, and we arrived there on Saturday, uh, on Sunday. We arrived there on Sunday, we drove with the train and we wanted to drive back home again with the train on Wednesday evening. But when we came to the train station, the people from the train station told us we're not allowed to go in the train. So we were like, dude, why? Why are we, what? And he's like, yeah, you know, the air condition in your part of the train went off and we were not able to fix it until now, so we can't, like, it's unhumanely to put you in this train and let you be in this hot box for, I don't know how much hours. So, they told us we can't, so after a while they told us we can drive for one station on this train, which is like 10 minutes. And then we get picked up by a bus who drives us to Villach and in Villach the train waits for us with new, like, with a new, I, I don't know what's it called, with a new, yeah, English. And we can, like, go in there and drive home normally. So we were like, okay. My phone was about to die at this time, so because I thought like, yeah, we're driving with the train, so I plug it in and we and I go to sleep and I can listen to music and voila. But no. So I plugged in my phone for 10 minutes, had like 10% more or anything like that. By the way, I had like 30% then. So we went off the train and we were somewhere in Italy. We had no idea where we were. Just a little bit closer to our home. But yeah, we sat there and they told us, yeah, we, we have to wait at least like one hour until the bus comes. So, and nothing has opened. Like, there was only one shop that had opened and a McDonald's, which was like that small. So, we sat outside of this train station and sat there for a while and then everyone was like yeah okay I'm grabbing a beer do you want something do you want a beer too and I was like yeah I want a beer too and we sat all there drank our beer which was disgusting and <laughs> waited for the bus and after a while some police officers who looked like FBI agents said like okay come on stand up guys stand up and we we're like what the heck? And we were like all drinking beer and in Italy, like in Austria it's legal to drink with 16 but in Italy it's not legal so I was like okay, didn't drink any beer, good? And they were like okay, you, you can't sit here, you can't sit here in this area and by the way it was like 10.30 p.m. or so by this time it was like, you can sit in front of this train station, that's not okay, and you have to move this way, like that's, you have to move anywhere, but that's not okay. And I was like, okay, good, we are going. Grab a beer that I throw away and went off. Yeah. And then we sat there and a friend of mine played like his guitar Layla, which is a small guitar, and yeah. 
we made the best out of it, just saying, we made the best out of it. And then after one and a half hour, not one hour, the bus came and there were also people that were not included in our class, like there were some people from Britain, there were some people from Korea, I think. They were just traveling around Austria or Italy or Europe, I don't know. And then, um, and four of those British people, let me just tell you, I don't want to offend any British people out there, but those people, it, they could have been like Austrian, they could have been Italy, Italian, they could have been Spa Spanish or France or Iraq or wh whatever, they could have been from anywhere. But they were back pack, pack, backpacking through Europe and they were just drunk at this time, they were so drunk. And they just were like, oh yeah, fuck this all, and sc screamed around, had music like blasts. And we drove like three hours with this bus and I didn't have any battery on my phone anymore. And we drove and drove and I couldn't sleep. And when we came to Villach, it was like 2 a.m. And then the people on the train station told us, they didn't know anything about this whole thing, they didn't know that we are coming and the train we would have been like at the train we should have gotten on left 15 minutes ago. Really? Hello? We want to go home? And then they told us like we were 48 people in my class so we sat there and they told us yeah you know we're looking for for uh for a bus to take you to Salzburg, which is like, here's Villach in Austria, here's Linz where we wanted to go, and here's Salzburg. So, yeah, would we'll be like half the way. And we were like, okay, good. We were sitting there, it was 2 a.m. and everyone was like, oh, guys, what the heck? And <laughs> I'm talking creepy, I know. Um, but everyone was like lying on the ground, sleeping on their like, on their towels or something like that. They were just sleeping on the ground. I couldn't sleep. And by that time, like uh, after like one hour, they just they came to their it came to their mind that they could open us like some energy banks, like I don't know how to call them. Uh, where you plug in your phone, literally, and that they could open us like a toilet, and so I charged my phone for a little bit, and then I sat down with a friend of mine. First of all, they opened us a uh, coffee machine, so we had coffee, and like me and five other people were awake, all others were like sleeping, and I sat down with a friend of mine, and he and I talked about music, and I have to say thanks so much to this friend, I don't think that I should tell his name, I don't know, he knows who he is, and thank you so much for making the best five hours of it, like, otherwise I would be like, guys, but it was like a great time, I got educated about music, it, it was really fun, and we talked about everything and anything and yeah I'm so grateful that there, you were there for me and I hope you had a great time as well and yeah I, I just wanted to thank you for that time and that you were there for me and yeah so they told us after like one and a half hour that there's no bus coming so we had to wait for the normal train um, like the normal train times when the next train is driving and that was 5 a.m. but the first train that drove through Linz was set like 11 past 7 a.m. so we waited on this bus station train station for five hours five hours like on a train station so I sat, I sat there with my friend, had fun, and it was really nice, I, I mean it wasn't that bad, we made the best out of it again, and then we sat in the train, slept, I slept like one hour or three, three, and 
Then we came to uh, Linz. We should have been there at 6 a.m. By the time it was like 12 a.m. by the time and we just all said yeah goodbye and we didn't have to go to school the next day so it was really nice from our teacher but I grabbed some breakfast and then drove home one hour with the bus and yeah I was at home at like 1.45 p.m. and then I later on I, I wasn't really tired I was just so pumped and so I made some dinners, no, not a dinner, lunch, uh, and then it was like 6 p.m. and I was like, okay, you're, you're going to sleep like for two hours and then you're packing your stuff away and everything and then you go to sleep like for real. And I laid down on my couch, set a timer, and the next thing I know was that I woke up at 8 a.m. the next day, so I slept for 14 hours. Wow! So I could. It was unbelievable to to go to sleep uh, to school the next day. Like that wouldn't have happened anyway. But yeah, that was my story. And last but not least, I just want to say, all of all of you out there, all of my friends, all of my classmates that I love. Thank you for being there for me any second in my life. Thank you to my friends that have are always there for me and that... Yeah, and let me tell you, I love you and I'm really glad that you're in my life. And I hope that this stays like that. And yeah, I just wanted to tell you that because otherwise my life would be a lot worse than it is. My life is pretty good right now. And most of it is because of you and thank you. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you like to see more story time videos then give this video a thumbs up. Yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video and always remember the good things in life and don't let you like push down with little things like sitting around on a train station for five hours. Just make the best out of it. Have fun. Like. Do some, uh, like, sit down with your friends, talk to them, do anything that you love, but don't, like, be, oh my god, why does this happen to me, and whatever like that. Just don't let you push down by such little things. Just enjoy the little good things and enjoy your life. Don't let you push down by anything. I can feel